Hi, this is Lily Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because I can, and I continue with Fallout 2 blind. I am still in Vault City, and it seems to me I still have quite a, you know, quite a large area to explore, so let's get to it. There is the Servant Allocation Center, which is basically like a slave pen, right? Because in Vault City, they keep slaves, mm, but they call them servants and they pretend uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's just temporary indentured servitude, but I'm not quite sure about the temporary part, because at first uh, I assumed it's only just prisoners that have to, you know, work off the, their, their sentence and then they are let free. But then I learned that they also buy servants, quote unquote, from the den. So, you know, those are, those are literal slaves that they buy for money from literal slavers. So I don't think they let them go, uh, which is disgusting, obviously. Uh, so what do you have to say, if anything? Well, I cannot talk with the slaves themselves, I guess. They are behind a force field of some sorts. You see a healthy looking woman in, in working clothes. She is keeping her eyes firmly fixed on the ground. Hello, traveler. Mm. Okay, remember, you have until 6 p.m. Ah, right, because there's a curfew for non citizens. Uh, what time is it? Uh, 9 a.m., so I have plenty of time. Mm. Yes, what is it? I'm behind in my assignments. What is this building? This is the Servant Assignment Center. Uh, servant Assignment. Uh, what's that? Citizens who, citizens who need help with menial tasks come here to have a sergeant, the servant assigned to them for a day. Uh, uh, where do you get all these servants? Our servants are usually refugees from raider attacks or contractual prisoners who wish to work off their sentence in a productive manner. Huh. So, you know, making prisoners work is not... Like, is not that controversial for me. Obviously, th there would have to be... Because, you know, the Soviets did it, but they worked them to death which obviously uh, I am against. I think that even if such a system would be implemented, uh, that there would have to be a lot of regulations to uh, protect the health and safety of those people uh, so that they are not used uh, you know, in, in dangerous tasks without supervision or without, uh, you know, without the care for their, for their safety, basically. Because they, I, I do believe you know, prisoners obviously are still people. They have human rights. They shouldn't be treated as subhuman just because they committed a crime. But I think it's at least something that could theoretically be discussed, you know. Mm. But then he also says that they are refugees from raider attacks. But I kind of call bullshit on that because the other guy in the customs center, he kind of let it slip that they buy the servants from the den. So they are literal slaves bought for money and I can't justify that. So the fact, uh, that, 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 that second fact nullifies any kind of discussion that I think might have been had about the first point. I think uh, all in all, it is abhorrent what they do. And it's, I, I find it especially annoying because they, they have such an air of superiority about it. Like, it's almost like they think uh, they, they are entitled to keep those people in slavery, but at the same time, they refuse to actually call it what it is. Uh, yeah, are you looking to buy any servants right now? So I can literally presumably sell my own companions into quote-unquote quote servitude. So I call, I, I call bullshit on this entire system uh, at the cost of their freedom, eh? You sound a lot like that idiot Moore. Just what, just what Vault City needs. Look, whoever you are, I have work to do. So if you'll kindly remove yourself. All right, all right. Yeah, because they're very indignant about you uh, calling it slavery. Mm. 
look, I have an option to ask. What is this building? I, I asked that already. Uh, servant allocation, huh? Uh, do you buy slaves or uh, servants here? Perhaps. Do you have some, some you wish to sell? Yeah, this is disgusting. Like, c come on. I... I am beyond uh, sort of horrified, especially by the veneer of civility they put uh, put on about. Uh, I'm looking for a particular servant, Joshua, I believe. Is he here? Yeah, because that's a guy that was thrown in prison for, I believe, starting a bar fight, which, again, it's difficult because I do believe he should be punished. You know, I'm not in favor of letting drunk people beat other people without consequence, but I don't have any actual, uh, I don't have any actual, what's the word, um, trust in the justice system of Vault City. It seems to me that they are, uh, like, they have this 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 uh, small elite of, of Vault citizens uh, that boss everyone else around and that they treat uh, those servants as subhuman and they are literally slaves that that has been established you know if they were all prisoners if, if you know uh, contractually obligated to work for a certain period of time as a sentence then i might entertain a discussion about the system but they literally buy them for money so i think on that point I might help get this guy out, even though I don't think he should have be uh, sh he should be uh, let off the hook entirely for starting a drunken bar fight uh, and presumably hurting someone in the process. But I just don't think he's going to get justice in this system. He he might as well, judging from the general way they treat those servants, they might actually never let him go. Uh, and even if they do. They basically treat him as a slave, and there are literal slaves working beside him in the system. So, I'm looking for a particular servant, Joshua, I believe. Is he here? Joshua, yeah, we do have a servant by that name. He was recently transferred from Correction Center. Your interest in him is... Uh, I'd like to negotiate for his release. Oh, really? And what makes you think I would release him? Hmm... Okay, so I can, I can bribe him, or I can bullshit him that the guy has a contagious disease. Now, I am, I am conflicted about this quest, because as I said, I do think he should suffer consequences. Uh, but on the other hand, I also feel like the consequences shouldn't be slavery. Like, come on. Uh, and... And you, you you can you can make a you can make a, what's the word mm, you can make an argument that he is already because I'm I'm not sure how long ago was it that he got picked up uh, you know locked up uh, but he has already served some kind of a sentence uh, as it were by being forced uh, to basically be a slave even for a limited time uh, and, and the crux of the matter is I just don't think this system is just uh, in its entirety. I think it's pretty disgusting uh, and I don't have a lot of trust in them uh, treating those quote-unquote servants, uh, you know, humanely. I, I don't think they do, which is pretty evident to me by the mere fact that they are willing to uh, buy and sell them, uh, which means they don't see them as people uh, because obviously even, uh, in, for, for, for example, in the States, there are private prisons and uh, prisoners do work while in prison uh, to, to also pay for their own upkeep. Uh, but, but, you are, but, but it's not slavery, the, you know, the prisons are not allowed to buy more prisoners or something like that. So, um, yeah, I don't trust the system and I, I'm not saying what I'm doing is right. Because I, it isn't really entirely, but what they are doing is certainly not right either. So I guess out of the two alternatives, I I, I will try bullshitting him because that will save me money. Uh, I see I see no no practical difference, like moral difference between those two options. They are both uh, they both involve lying, uh, 
and and deceit because obviously bri bribery is still illegal I suspect he has a contagious disease. You might want to release him before he infects the other servants. Is that so? Are you aware that it's each servant is thoroughly checked before being admitted into the allocation center? Are you aware of Trevor's syndrome? It doesn't show up on most medical scans and its sim symptoms can lie dormant for weeks. Symptoms? What kind of symptoms? symptoms? Uh, Trevor's syndrome. A lot of outworlders have it. Its symptoms include speaking when not spoken to and using coarse language. <laughs> okay, so, so its symptoms basically are being a normal person who has just been pressed into slavery and has not, uh, has, has not had the proper, crop, proper quote-unquote manners drilled into them yet. Uh, yeah, I have noticed these symptoms in servants as of late. Contagious, you say? Hmm. If this Joshua is a carrier, I shall re release him as at once. Give me a moment to make the arrangements. No problem, Joshua would be better off with the Outworlders anyway. So I guess they are going to exile him? Which is uh, still better than slavery. A lot better, actually. I would much prefer ro to, to roam the wastes on my own than being a slave in Vault City. It is done. Joshua is no longer a servant of Vault City and has been moved to the courtyard with the rest of the Outworlders. Mm, okay, some other questions. I'm looking for the vault. The vault? It's that huge hole in the mountain on the east side of the city. Head out the front door, turn left and walk straight ahead. You can't miss it. Can anyone get in there? No, you need to be a citizen in order to be allowed into the vault. Hmm, I happen to be very busy at the moment. Uh, now if you would please excuse me. Okay, goodbye. Anyone here? Nope. Correction center. So basically a prison. Right? Hmm. Okay, Sulik is here. And this is Cassidy. And the ghoul is waiting outside because they wouldn't let him in. Mm, what do you want? Who are you? I am Citizen Sergeant Stark, Outsider. What do you want? What do you do here? I run the correction center, keep the outworlders in line, make sure that the servants behave, organize patrol, try to protect the city from raiders. You are the one who busted up Cassidy's bar? Maybe your friend Cassidy there didn't tell you that he had illegal substances on the premises and his license for alcohol distribution had expired. You forget to tell your friend that, Cassidy? Uh, Cassidy said he was all paid up and you raided his place anyway. Cassidy was guilty of possession without a license. He doesn't like it, he can leave Vault City. That's simple. Okay, I'm not going to fight him over that, especially because Cassidy is effectively going to leave Vault City, because he has agreed to that. Uh, he, he joined my party, as it were. Uh, what do you do here? Uh, yeah, I asked all of that already. Uh, patrols? Yeah, we have a small group of patrols, can barely spare the men to protect Vault City, much less to do all the reconnaissance that needs to be done. I do a lot of traveling. Anything I can help with? What do you mean? I could do some recon for you if you're short-handed. No, you would need a Pip-Boy in, in order to get the job done right, and I can't spare one, one, one right now. I, I have got a Pip-Boy already. It's old and cranky and seems to have wired and buttons yanked out everywhere, but it works. Hmm. Yeah? Has it got the Northern California world map installed? Yes. Well, at least from what I can see through the fog of war and the damn thing. Yeah. Okay. Wait. That's stupid. That's... what? The... the I, I guess the Pip-Boy map works exactly... works in the universe in the exact same way as it does in game, which means it doesn't display the places I have not been to? Which is insane. Like th that's a th that's the stupidest way to program a map that I have ever seen because it's basically useless. Like y y you specifically want a map to know where you're going, uh, and th this guy is telling me that that this map in the universe has literal fog of war, so it doesn't display the locations you have not visited previously, which is 
so stupid I cannot contain myself, but whatever. And you've got a job for you then. I need someone to scout, scout the terrain around Gecko, that ghoul encampment to the northeast. Hit, uh, hit the eight sectors on the world map around the town, then report back. Why? If they keep poisoning our groundwater, we might be forced to take military action. Now, do you want the job or not? I'll take the job. I'll re report when I'm done. Okay, but there's another question about the raiders. No, raiders? Yeah, raiders. They've been hitting us pretty hard lately, he frowns. What do you want to know about them? I'd like to try and find their base, maybe stop the attacks I can, if I can. Hmm, what, are you some kind of a good Samaritan? I don't buy it. Uh, I'd like to help if I could. Oh yeah? Well, tracking this band of raiders may be more than you can handle. I'd still like to try. Hmm, well, I'm not going to turn down any help at this point. If you find their base, no, you find their base, or even better, wipe them out, go tell the first citizen. Any idea where these raiders are striking from? I don't know. These raids don't make much sense. If they are raiders, what do you mean? They've got heavy firepower, expensive firepower, they know military tactics and they stay in formation, they never cl cross the lines of fire, and they, and they always stop short of breaking through our defenses. Hmm, so it's almost like they're testing them. And I guess the, 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 they are the Enclave? Those are, not, those are not the raiders at all, those are Enclave, and they... Mm, uh, you know, they, you, you, you can't pinpoint when they're, where, they come, the, where they are coming from because presumably they are moving around using vertebrates, basically flying around. Mm, so, uh, they stop short of breaking through your defenses? I've seen them do it. The last attack, they disabled, disabled a laser turret on the western perimeter. They had a clear shot into the city. I saw one of, them one of their captains order them to fall back. Makes no sense. Any idea where they are coming from? No, that's the most frustrating part. They keep retreating south. I can't spare any men to go and scout the area. I think the raiders have some kind of a native guide that leads them through the southern canyons. What's the deal with the south? Plenty of places to hide if you don't know where to look. The place is riddled with caves. I could probably find them. Go ahead and try. I'm betting the only way they would let us find them is by giving us a map. Okay, anything else I can ask about, about the raiders? Nope. Well, I guess that's it. I uh, need to check the weapon locker down in the vault. I need to learn this lesson. Be about your business, Outworlder. Hello, Traveler. Okay, let's continue exploring the area. So this is the vault, right? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Only citizens are permitted to enter the vault. Uh, I make sh uh, I'm sure you understand. Oh, I sure. I was just looking around. Okay, so they won't let me enter the vault. As of now, are there any more buildings to explore here? Oh, there is still this. Uh, do the servants have anything to say? That dad named me after a comic book character from before the war. Said he was a mean son of a bitch. I was captured by slavers long ago. I barely remember it. Yeah, and you're still a slave. Like, that's disgusting that they pretend to free slavers uh, by giving them, you know, uh, good honest work and all that. To be honest, mm, that infuriates me to such a large de degree, especially because that's something that humans in our own uh, history used to believe. Like, the, you know, people actually justified slavery by uh, by pretending that they are doing the slaves a favor because, you know, they feed them, they clothe them, and they give them something to do. Uh, and... Uh, the, you know, they were making quote-unquote quote arguments such as oh, they would have never survived on their own because they are too stupid to, you know, to, 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 to be free, basically. Uh, and actually, mm, you know, the whole concept of, of the white man's burden 
uh, which is which is uh, that, that's a very famous poem by by, by I think uh, Rudyard Kipling. Uh, the white man's burden. Uh, the, the whole concept is that the other peoples, uh, the, the non-white people of the world, uh, according to the people who used to believe this, were too stupid to govern themselves. So basically, according to those people, white people had an quote-unquote obligation to conquer them because uh, somehow that made their lives better. Because you know, sure, you might have been a slave. Uh, in your own, in your own, in your own, in your own country, but at least we installed railroads when we stole everything you own, or something like, uh, you know, th that's disgusting, and I, I can't sort of, I can't wrap my head around how can they replicate this because, well, I guess most of the knowledge of pre-war societies has been lost, but still, it's mightily disappointing. To me, that that uh, that uh, you'd think we are past uh, this point, you know, in the year whatever it is, uh, 2000, uh, 2241, uh, and apparently we're not. Apparently, there are still plenty of people who not only keep slaves but actually pretend it's good for them. Like in a way, I actually resent that more than I resent, you know, the actual slavers because. The, the, the slavers, at the very least, they don't pretend they are doing something good. They literally just care about money. And there's something honest in that cruelty. Like, I still oppose them, and I still think they are disgusting and should be, you know... Uh, if they can't be persuaded to drop the idea of practicing slavery, then I fully think that, you know, I am within my rights to freaking shoot them on sight. Uh, for doing that, uh, but at least there's something fundamentally honest about them, you know, stating outright that they think certain categories of people, if you can't defend yourself, uh, you're worthless and we're going to take advantage of you, whereas the people of Vault City, they pretend they are so enlightened and whatever, and they pretend that they are actually doing the servants a favor, which is disgusting. It's like kicking, kicking somebody in the face and making them thank you for it. Uh, okay, let's explore this. What's this? Information center. Okay. Oh, hello. Was there something I could help you with? What is this place? This is the information center for Vault City. Is this the place you were looking for? Uh, information center. Do you have any books or manuals? Unfortunately, the books are currently being transcribed into electronic format. The extras are being shipped to the amenities offices down the street. Uh, you might try there. I bought one book already, uh, but there was only one. All the books are gone? Mm, yes, well, everything is being transcribed before uh, because there is some kind of a delicate matter, but I believe my post here in Vault City has become obsolete. Obsolete? They are discussing putting information ter terminals in every household. The new terminals will be all tied to the list server and the information archives. Once that is done, the information center and I will be unnecessary. It's all for the best, really. Are you sure? Oh yes, the first citizen is rarely wrong in such matters. Uh, still, I will be sorry to leave this place. I heard they have a position waiting for me in the list office. Mm, oh well, I'm sorry to hear that all the books were transcribed. I'd much rather read a book than stare at a computer screen. Well, to be honest, I, re I kind of agree. Like, I am a big fan of traditional books, you know, of paper books. Uh, but on the other hand, I fully realize that it's an impractical position to hold, and it is a little bit irrational. Like, imagine, imagine the amount of space you would need to like transcribe the internet into books or something uh, you know the the, the 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 ease of accessing the information through a computer is much greater than by f by by actual books but i do agree on on like an emotional level if that, that makes any sense to you and this is how i feel as well I have nothing again against electronic format, mind you, but there is a certain solidity in having a book in your hand and taking the pages one by one. You know? Yeah? 
uh, they haven't shipped all of the books to the amenities offices yet. I know that Randall won't miss them if I give them to someone who appreciated them. Someone like yourself. I'd love to have them, thanks. I'll go fetch them, alright. Here you go, I hope you enjoy reading them. They are, they are some of my favorites, a little on the technical side, but still quite good. Thanks, do you mind if I ask you more questions? Certainly. Uh, what questions do you have? Uh, do you know where I can find a Gek? A Gek? That name sounds familiar. What does it do? Um, you know, I don't know exactly myself. To hear the elder of my village tell it, it's supposed to be some kind of a panacea. Although, do I want to tell them I'm a tribal? Do they know that? Because they, they seem to dislike everyone who's not from Vault City. Uh, and... They seem to hold themselves as some kind of an elite, so uh, I'm not sure what, what what telling that to him would even accomplish, so let's not really do that, actually. Do we have anything to barter with? Nope. Mm, okay, so that's all, I guess. Uh, what kind of books did I receive? Mm, I'm going to read them later because I am on a curfew. But I have a first aid book, a book of science, and Dean's electronics. Okay. Pretty great. You have entered Vault City Council area. Okay. Remember, you have until 6 p.m. You're out of here after 6 p.m. Okay. Mm, the parlor room. This is a rest area, pal. Move along, okay? If I was 20 years younger, I would go east and explore the Midwest. Too late for now, though. Too late for that now, I suppose. Okay, let's talk with the bartender. Yes, can I help you? What's on tap? On tap, how quaint. We have mineral water, distilled water, and sparkling water. We also have several synthesized alcohols. Uh, never mind, I was looking for information. Then perhaps you should be at the information center instead of this establishment. It is located downtown. And now, I have other customers. Mm, okay, so it's not interested in chatting. Uh, good day. Which is actually... You know, uh, I, I guess many people, including me, tend to forget that because it's such an such a staple of RPGs to go around and run and ask everyone random questions. But I've already mentioned how I sincerely believe that a that a real life person behaving as an RPG protagonist would be obnoxious as hell. Like this guy's job is to serve drinks, he doesn't have time to answer my random questions about the city, that's what uh, tourist information is for. Like, uh, if somebody would uh, ask, if, so if somebody would behave as an RPG protagonist in real life, I do believe it would be supremely annoying. Oh sorry, I almost mistook you for a servant. Please stand over there. Uh, be about your business, Outworlder. Okay, I'm going to visit the Central Council last. Please wipe your feet before entering the house. You outsiders could stand to learn some manners, yeah? Please wipe your feet. Okay, so this is just somebody's home. Mm, can I see your day pass, please? Uh, the servants free up our times for more important matters. Mostly list making.
Okay, what is this? Is this a home as well? A servant should be over uh, should be over later to weed the garden. I'm, I missed my family at first, but it has been many years since I saw them. Many years since I... Man. It's polite to ask before entering someone ha someone's house. Yeah, again, this is actually true. Like, it's actually illegal what I'm doing. It's not even rude. It's actually illegal. I'm entering people's houses without asking them. And they don't know me, so... I was captured by slavers long time ago. I don't remember it. I barely remember it. Be about your business. Okay, yeah. Oh, sorry, I almost mistook you for a servant. Okay, so I guess the last thing I have to do is to talk with everyone at the Central Council. Hello, traveler. Be out of here at 6 p.m. Hello, can I help you? Who are you? I am Senior Counselor McClure. Who are you? Mm, Trevor, pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Garden of Eden creation kit. A gek? As I understand it, we only had one. I read that it, it lasted a long time, but it broke down a number of years before I was even born. We were supposed to have two. Supposed to? But apparently the old government messed up the shipments and we received a shipment that was meant to go to the vault number 13, I think it was. They probably received our gag. What was the shipment that was meant for vault 13? Water chips, a hundred or so. I don't know why they sent so many. We have never needed to replace our. We had we had the same water chips since the day our people lived in the underground in the vault. Okay, this is this is hilarious because the whole plot of Fallout 1 was uh, to find the water chip and I guess because of a clerical error before the war they didn't receive their replacement that they were supposed to get a hundred uh, you know uh, hundred replacement water chips just in case uh, what happened to the gag that broke down it was disassembled and its parts were used for other applications okay can I ask another question what is it that you would like to know uh, what's your job here? I'm the senior citizen. Uh, I, I, I am the senior council member. I oversee the council meetings. Uh, then what does the first citizen do? She is the leader of our people. The citizens of Vault City look to her for guidance, but the citizens through the council still have the final say on matters. In these trying times, she is a pillar of our society. Trying times? What do you mean? Things have been tough those last two years. The NCR has been getting more aggressive in their attempts to get the Vault City to join the Republic. They tell us that if we were to join, they would be able to defend us from the raider attacks on our city. As of late, these raider attacks have become more and more brutal. On top of all of this, we have ghouls in Gecko contaminating our groundwater. Uh, what is Gecko? I actually know, but I want to hear his... Uh, I want to hear his response. It is a forsaken place, a shantytown built around the remnants of an old atomic power plant. Where is Gecko located? It's just northeast of here, but you are, if you are planning to go there, I would advise you to purchase some anti-rad chems. If they are contaminating our water, it is likely that the town itself is irradiated. Okay. Uh, how does one become a citizen? You wish to become a citizen? Well, we would be pleased to have you. All you need to do is to talk to Proconsul Gregory and have you, if, and he will give you the citizenship citizenship test. Where can I find Proconsul Gregory? You'll find him in the East Wing. His office is across from the first citizens. Okay. I think you might have a part that could fix Gecko's power plant. What do you mean? If I had a hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator, I could make the plant run clean. That is an acceptable solution. Stopping the radiation is all I care about. Great, can I have that part? 
Go see Randall, the chief amenities officer. He should have that part in stock. Thanks, I'll go to see him right now. Okay, convincing them was easier than I thought. Unless I was captured by slavers. Uh, unless uh, there will be some more complications on the way. You see a grim looking bureaucrat with a narrow face and thick eyebrows. Who are you? I'm Proconsul Gregory. Uh, is this the office you were looking for? Or what do you do here? I am the assistant to the first citizen. I schedule her appointments, administer the citizenship test to potential applicants and update all the lists of Vault City server. It's not a small task, I assure you. The citizenship test? Yes, I am responsible for, for administra administering the citizenship test to anyone who wishes to become a citizen of Vault City. What is the test exactly? It is a comprehensive exam divided into several parts advanced mathematics, spatial relations, deductive reasoning, language comprehension. Oh, and there is also a thorough physical examination. Okay, I, I will take it. I have quite a high intelligence, so maybe I'll be able to pass it. But first, other questions. Uh, what is it that you do? Um, the citizenship test. What are the benefits or be of becoming a citizen? Benefits? Why well, look around you. Vault City is the safest, richest city in all of the wastes. Citizens receive free medical treatment, food and water is plentiful, and, and there is no crime or disease to speak of. Okay, so let's take the test. Sounds elementary. I would like to take the citizenship test. You wish to take the test? Excellent, excellent. Nothing pleases me more than testing potential applicants, but I must warn you, the test is several hours long. Do you wish to take it now? Um, do I? I only have time until 6 p.m. And I'm not sure if they are going to give me another another pass, just because I ask. So I guess I'm going to do that last, uh, maybe some other time. Let's first talk with everyone else. Mm, can I see your day pass? Okay, so I take it this is the first citizen. You see a stern-looking woman with thick glasses, wearing a Vault City jumpsuit. Judging from her bearing, she seems important. Good day to you, stranger. I am First Citizen Lynette. May I inquire as to your business here? Hmm. Hey, that's an interesting point. Excuse my ignorance, First Citizen, but does the title First Citizen uh, mean that you are the overseer of this vault? Overseer? Why, no. There has been no overseer in a hundred years. How do you know of the vault overseers? Mm. I am a descendant of the first vault dweller. I have heard many stories of the overseer. A descendant of the vault dweller? What do you mean? I am a great-grandchild of the first vault dweller. The first vault dweller? What? You must mean another vault. We have never been in contact with another vault. Where is it located? Uh, I don't know. You see, I'm trying to find the vault my ancestor came from. Oh, now I understand. But what proof do you have that your ancestor was from a vault? Mm, I have this vault jumpsuit and this canteen. They belonged to my ancestor. Very well. Let me see. These... These are authentic. Unbelievable. You are a survivor from another vault. Welcome to our city. You must have suffered much in the outside world. I need to find the vault my people come from. Hmm. Perhaps some mention of your vault is in our computer archives. First citizen, it is very important to me that I find the location of my ancestor's vault. If you could check the archives, I would be grateful. We could check the vault computers. They would probably have the information you seek, but only citizens are allowed to access the archives. Is there some way I could become a citizen? You may speak with Proconsul Gregory. He has authority to administer the citizenship test. He can be found in the meeting room down the corridor. I'll go talk to the Proconsul then. But actually not. Actually, I have more questions. Yes? What is it? I have some questions I wanted to ask you. For a non-citizen, you certainly demand a great deal of my time. Mm. Do you have a gag? 
I am sorry, but we used ours to start Vault City. I do not believe there were any spares, but you could check the acquisitions office. It is located by the entrance to our vault. Okay. Yes. What is it? More questions. For a non-citizen, you certainly demand a great deal of my time. And this is Vault City. Why don't you live in a vault? Which I do believe is a stupid question. I think nobody would prefer living under underground if they had a choice. But still, I'm interested to see her answer. Or rather, here. No, no, we do not live in the vault. They were a temporary measure to protect a chosen few from the war and aid them in the subsequent construction of a new world. Mm. How did you know where to leave the uh, when to leave the vault? I heard the vaults were isolated from the outside world. What you heard was incorrect. Our archives are quite clear. Our vault received the all clear signal two years after being sealed. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. The all cle clear signal from where? Why, from surface monitors, I suppose. I am certain there were sensors monitoring the environment. How else would the Overseer have known when it was safe to leave? Mm, do these monitors still exist? Can I see them? Quite likely they were disassembled and used as upgrades for other systems. Hmm, but the Overseer was the one who gave the order to leave the vault. Yes, at least that's what I remember from the archives. However, I am certain many citizens were responsible for monitoring the surface sensors. Okay, where, I, where are these archives? The archives are stored within our vault. Only citizens have access to them. They are not for outsiders. Mm. Okay, I asked that already, but it is going to loop. You may speak with Proconsul Gregory. He has authority to administer the citizenship test. Okay, I think I asked everything, did I? Yes. What is it? More questions. For a non-citizen, you certainly demand a great deal of my time. Why is it you condone slavery? Which is maybe a mistake to ask, because they, they get pretty touchy about even, even calling it that. But to be honest, I'm not about to cater to the sensitivities of slave owners. Like, if a fight starts because of that, I'm not going to feel particularly guilty. My only problem will be actually surviving. Uh, because I do think what they are doing is disgusting, and I am about to call them out. Why is it you condone slavery? Why do we condone slavery? The system has been in place for many years, and it works quite well. Both parties benefit from the institution. Yeah, that is disgusting. Like, and it is doubly more disgusting if you remember that this exact rhetoric actually was used by real people in history. Uh, but you buy and sell human beings like Brahmin. Doesn't, keep sla doesn't keeping slaves bother you? They are not slaves, they are our servants. We have given them homes, food, clothing and a purpose. We have given them a life. Look, no matter what sweet sounding words you use to cover the stink, it is still slavery. I believe it is time you left. I suggest you make your stay in Vault City a short one. Yeah, I am living. Okay, but before I try to add to to before I try to take the citizenship test, uh, there are still a couple of people I would like to talk to. Like there is a guy at the amenities office uh, that I'm supposed to talk about uh, to talk with about uh, the part for the ghouls. Like I think right here. Hello there, stranger. Always a pleasure to see a new face. Name's Randall. I'm the chief amenities officer. Need something? Well, that depends. What is this place? I asked that already, didn't I? I'm pretty sure. And this is your... Uh, this is the amenities office. Got your typical stock of basic living necessities, some books, how-to manuals, some tools, steam packs, medical supplies and all that. Uh, sounds great. Can I see what you have in stock? I'm sorry to break it to you, but I'm only authorized to do transactions with citizens. Uh, no offense to you, but it's the rule, you know. You might try Happy Harry's out in the courtyard. A Councillor McClure said you would have a, an hydroelectric magnetosphere regulator in stock that I could have. Yeah, he said you would be stopping by. Trevor, right? Wait one minute. I'll get you the hydroelectric magneto 
uh, the high mag. All right. Okay, here you go, one high mag. It looks kind of like a lava lamp, doesn't it? Oh, don't drop it, it's pretty fragile. <laughs> I might stare at this for a few hours before taking it to Gecko. What else do you have in stock? Uh, okay, some other questions? Uh, Valerie over at Maintenance Shed could use a new wrench and some pliers. Yeah, I know. I'm still waiting for the requisition list to clear the server, and it's been going for a while. I don't know what to say, things just take time. Okay. So, to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get the part, hydroelectric part. This is, this is an electric magnetosphere regulator. Okay. Oh, I'm over encumbered. I guess I can give something to Cassidy. Mm, just not this specifically because I needed to finish a quest. Uh, okay, have this, this. Hmm. That isn't going to to help, is it? I'm still going to be over encumbered, I think. Oh, really? What? He over encumbered as well? He only has a couple of things. No. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess I guess it doesn't accept the trade because even if I give the give him those things, I am still going to be over encumbered. So hmm. this is kind of annoying, but uh, Maybe if I read the books, I, I am 90 out of 80. How heavy are the books? Two pounds per one. Okay, so, damn it, I want to go back to, you know what, Cassidy. Uh, have the books for now. Just be, because I want to take the citizenship test before my day pass uh, expires. Okay, that should be enough to allow me to run. And I'm going to read the books outside, because I'm pretty sure that takes time in itself. Okay, let's take the test. Mm. I would like to take the citizenship test. You wish to take the test? Excellent. Okay, sure. Very well. Here are forms 4528-6112 and the Pip-Boy answer console. Please be sure to fill in each circle completely. Now, if you would like to take a seat over here... Alright. Alright, time's up. Let's see your form. Wait a minute. Oh, forget it. Well, the answers you did manage to put down seem fine. It is the time timelessness, timeless no, what? timeliness in which you took the test, and the glaring grammatical errors. And so, well, I regret to inform you that I cannot grant you citizenship at this time. Uh, if I may be so, you don't seem to test well. Perhaps you would have better luck next time. Well, maybe some other time then. Okay, so I guess I won't be getting, uh, I won't be getting citizenship through the test. Maybe they will grant me citizenship if I take care of their radar problem. But obviously the radars, seemingly from the description, are the enclave. So you know, defeating them is not going to be an easy matter. Um, but either way, at least they have a part to help the ghouls. Mm, which inadvertently will also help Vault City itself. Uh, because it will stop uh, water from getting irradiated. Okay, let's take him with me. What do you want? Let's go. 
and Cassidy, you can give me back the books and I'm going to read them. Oh, come on, really? I have to read them one by one. Oh well. Okay, Dean Electronics. Uh, I think this upgrades my repair. What is it? 21? Mm, yeah, you learn a lot about repairing broken electronics. And it's... what now? 28. So I've received 7 points, which is pretty great. Because uh, that's pretty much for free. And there's also science and first aid. Okay, I think I have to talk with someone out here. Someone's husband is like in slavery, like was in slavery and I freed him. Uh, but where exactly was that? Uh, thank you for bailing me out, I appreciate it. Me and the wife will be moving on soon. Thank you for rescuing my husband. Please accept this as a reward. It's not much, but it's something. Okay. Joshua, I'm so glad you're free. I was worried. Uh, thank you again for rescuing my husband. We'll be moving on soon. Okay. So, let's go back to the ghouls and try helping them repair the, the plant. Even though I have quite a low repair skill myself, so I'm not sure if it's going to work. Uh, also, I was supposed to scout around, right? How would that work? What does my Pip-Boy have to say about that, specifically? Scout the eight sectors around Gecko. Eight sectors? But it doesn't... Uh, unless you mean those... You know, I have to basically walk around. Because that, that is what, six? Uh, three, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I think it works like that. Okay, a park, pack of wild dogs among some spore plants. Okay, shouldn't be that big of a problem. Although, that's quite a large group of enemies. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, it's, it's going pretty decently.
Hmm. Enemies nearby? What? What? What enemies? Ah, the wolves. Okay. Okay, can I skin the wolves? Nope. Anything in those houses? Knuckles. Restricted area. Warning. No trespassing beyond this point. Okay. Let's tell Harold that I acquired the part. What you need, youngster? Mm. Hey, Harold, I got that part you need to fix your reactor. I guess I should get it installed somehow. Oh, okay. What you need, youngster? He didn't really have anything to say about that. Mm. Now I don't think I'm not sure if I can survive inside without like Radix or right away, but I guess I will check that in a bit. Well, in a bit, actually next time, because this episode has been long enough, so I'm going to end it here. That's all for this one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!